So today we're going to focus on the midpoint formula, which to find the midpoint of a segment with coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2, we're going to use these two equations. And as our final result, we're going to have an ordered pair whose coordinates equal these these two equations. And this is going to be our midpoint. So we're going to do some examples and then we're going to graph a midpoint problem. So first for the x we have 1 plus 3 over 2 comma 8 plus 10 over 2. So we add the x coordinates and the y coordinates to get the y coordinate and the x coordinate. So 1 plus 3 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. 8 plus 10 is 18, divided by 2 is 9. So that is what our midpoint equals. So, now we have a negative right here. But, it, and, and right here too, as well. But if you remember, we add the two numbers together. And addition is commutative, which means that you can add in whatever order and you'll still get the same answer. So we have negative 1 plus 3 over 2 for our x coordinate and 5 plus negative 3 divided by 2 for our y coordinate. So negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2 divided by 2 and then when we subtract when we add a negative we're really subtracting a positive so 5 minus positive 3 is 2 over 2 and if you reduce those you get 1 and 1 So we have one more example here, and it's the same thing where you're going to add your x's and add your y's. So 6 plus 2 is 8 over 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and we're just going to leave it like that. So, <clears throat> given the segment's midpoint is negative 3, 2, so we're going to graph this, so we're going to go left 3, up positive 2, which is right there, and actually, let me get a different color so it shows up on our graph better. So, 3, up 2, And this is the midpoint, remember. And then our endpoint is 3, negative 1. So over th to the right, 3, down 1, which is about right there. This is endpoint 1. So our, we're trying to find the other endpoint of this segment. And if you think about it, the other endpoint has to be up here somewhere because m has to be between endpoint 1, endpoint 2, and endpoint 1 for it to be a midpoint. And the distance here needs to be congruent to the distance there. So we're going to have to work backwards a little bit. So we're going to use the same formula we just learned, except since we already know what the midpoint is, we're going to set the x-coordinate, 
or the x midpoint equal to we're going to call it x1 this point up here x1 plus this endpoint right here divided by 2 and we're going to do the same for the y and set 2 equal to y1 minus 1 over 2. So if you multiply both sides by 2 and subtract 3 over, you'll get x1 equal to negative 9 and multiply 2 over, add 1 over, you get y is equal to 5. So if we were to plot this, we'd have to go, we'd have to make this a little bit longer. And we're going to call this negative 10. So neg negative 9 is about here. So we're going to go over negative 9 and up 5. So right about there. And this is our entire segment. So that's all for midpoint. But in the next lesson, we're going to talk about the slope of a line. So make sure you come back and watch that video too.